Welcome to my channel, Planet with Maserati. I'm going to be doing the daily scripture writing for day 7, which is Romans 5.5. 5. So before I begin, welcome. Please subscribe. Hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Please give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and share the video. That would be greatly appreciated. We are on day 7, and I'm going to mark it off because we're about to do it. And it's going to be Romans 5.5. 5. And we're focusing for the month joy and I hope you're joining me on the the Bible study for you version right now I am on day six with the Bible study today's the sixth so I'm doing the seventh early so I get it out of my you know making sure it's up for you guys so this was the days I went to touch the oh now it's dry I went to touch this so I can, I don't know what I was doing, but it went like that and I smeared it. I was so upset. So, let's read Romans 5.5. 5. This is the NIV version, right? Yes. I had to double check that for a minute. Okay, so, I just had it right here. Okay. This is very hard to see. I gotta find my big Bible. It says, and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. So I'm going to read it again. <clears throat> and hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Isn't that the truth? Okay, so let's get started with the writing. I hope you guys are following. Um, and what version do you use if you're, um, if, well not if, because you're here to do scripture writing if you're watching this video, right? What version do you use? I seem to like the NIV version. People say, oh, use this one and that one. But to me, this is fine for me. You're, so, um, you're not, so, I always say you're supposed to. You know, it's good to have different versions, different, um, ways of them saying it but it all says the same pretty much the same thing okay i lost my track god love god love god's love there you go has been okay can you multitask and do this at the same time as already so i'm gonna skip here and just go down here yeah so I'm losing track here. So I need to do different versions. So this is the NIV version of all these. You can write it out in different versions, but get the same, like I was saying, get the same meaning. I'm like so distracted. I know that's going to smear. Oh my gosh. So I need to start doing that as well. Like just writing it out. Keep rereading it because that's where the memorization comes in at. Like you keep reading something, you're going to remember it. Just as if you keep writing it, you're going to remember it. Unless you have a bad brain like I do. And don't remember nothing sometimes. So yeah. I did not think that was going to look okay. Let's read it again, because again, it, it gives you good memorization. So now I read from here, and it says, and hope, and I, usually, and I just got so distracted. I don't know if it was the sticker or what. It says, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. 
So with that said, I'm going to go turn this this way. Look at my washi tape just sitting on the Bible. Really washi? Okay, so we're going to put joy. I think I'm going to do it a little differently. And do it sideways. High five right here. Joy. And then this is seven, seven, right? Seven, seven. I like doing that, and then I forgot to do it in the last video, but I like to underline it when I read it. A lot of people highlight, they look for key words. I just like to underline it. I don't know what it is, I just like to... This verse here is what I've read in this color ink. Now the next color ink I use for the next month will be the underline and the date and what it was. So that is my video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it's not all over the place. I know I'm going to get that one comment. <laughs> I already know. Okay. So here is Friday. We're going to set up Friday real quick. Friday I will do on Friday because I am off. I just hope this doesn't smear. Because it's looking like it will. Um, This will be the 8th. And 1 Corinthians. Two nine. And then I just bring it down to the next line, verse 9. And that's all I do for the scripture reading. But look at, we're already on day 8. I can't believe it. So leave in the comments below, do you like how I did this or whatever. It's not about the prettiness, it's just... The scripture writing and you know reading it and reading it getting you know getting what you can out of it you could take it further and you know soap it out you could take it further and just break it down break it down into like the keywords and everything and yeah so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i will talk to you in the next video have a good one bye bye